Hi there, this is Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the envelope punch board. It is made by We Are Memory Keepers and I got mine from Stampin' Up. I was very quickly convinced that this is a fantastic tool within about 2.2 seconds of pulling it out of the box. In the box, you're gonna get an instruction sheet. You may or may not need that. And you're also gonna get another chart. The chart that is already on there is in inches. The chart that comes with it that it, you can put on as a sticker is the metric. So depending on how you measure, you may or may not need it. One thing I wanna point out, when you make a card, if you cut your eight and a half by 11, inch cardstock in half and fold in half, your size is A2. This says four and a half by five and a half is A2. That's incorrect. It's actually four and a quarter by five and a half. So your normal regular cards, whole piece of cardstock cut in half, folded in half, is four and a quarter by five and a half. The envelopes that you make using this are gonna be about an eighth of an inch larger. So you're looking at the card size. So. Again, most of the time I do four and a quarter by five and a half. This tells me that I need an eight by eight piece of paper and I'm gonna score it at three and a half. I'm going to take my eight by eight, I'm gonna line it up in the punch board and what did it say, three and a half? Yep, okay, so I'm gonna use this and look at that, it even has eighths of an inch marked, how cool. All right, so I'm lining this up with three and a half, I'm punching, sorry, you might hear my children, they're playing Minecraft together. <laughs> I'm gonna take out this little scoring tool. I'm gonna to put this in the little guide right here and I'm gonna score. Look at that, pretty easy. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it and the score line that I just made, I'm gonna line up with this little guide here. I'm gonna punch again and score. I'm gonna turn, line that score line up with this guide. I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna line up my tool, score, line up my score line, punch, whoops, and score. It seriously is that easy. Now I'm gonna just fold, and it's pretty awesome when you use the designer series paper because look, you get two patterns in one. You can use a little adhesive. I'm gonna use, actually I'm gonna put these flaps in first. I'm gonna use a little bit of snail here. You can use sticky strip or glue dots. And then you put your card inside, obviously, and then fold that over and adhere it down. I forgot to show you one last little feature of this. I was just about to buy a new corner rounder, and guess what, I don't need one now. Voila, I have a rounded corner. There we go, all done. It was that easy to make an envelope. Now let me show you a couple others. I have a three by three Halloween envelope here. A little piece of candy. I have just a regular size envelope. This is my A2 size card. And then I have a larger. This is a four by eight. And you can see when I made the envelope, it ends up being just a little bit long. So you can fold it up or you can just cut it off and then adhere. So there you go. I hope you guys are inspired and you got to see the ins and outs of this envelope punch board and you think it's pretty cool because I do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my blog, katherinepuller.com, for lots of great card and gift and paper crafting ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.